Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox, and we are going to show you the true heart and soul of the SNP. There was um, a councillor, she was a SNP, um, she was invited to resign and she resigned because it turns out that she is a rabid and absolutely <laughs> awful human being and worse, a racist. And she made comments uh, that were seen as being terrible by the person involved and so forth. She was forced to resign from the party, but she's ho now uh, subsequently hosting an event. Um, and so this woman who has been exposed as a racist by her own words, hosting this event, and the likes of Gillian Martin, Environment, and uh, Mary McCallan, who seems to be given everything to do at the moment, the Saturday girl, um, and as well as uh, Dave Dugan, the MP, all SNP politicians are all going to turn up to support her. Because, you know, racism, it doesn't matter to the SNP. Unless you're racist, of course, to the wrong people. Now, whilst the, 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 the victim of her racism was uh, Sri Lankan, but it was uh, she was um, not Muslim, she was uh, Hindu. And therefore, that's acceptable in modern day SNP. Had she been a Muslim, of course, that would have been totally, totally unacceptable. And they would have distanced themselves from her but that's okay it's not a muslim that she was uh, racist to and so yeah yeah they're all willing to support her wonderful isn't it let's take a look at why this loathsome creature should not be getting support from anyone in the, the smp and why we're not surprised that she is here goes so smp politicians urged to snub event hosted by race shame councillor or to align themselves with shocking remarks. Well, what do you go? What do you think? This woman, racist, comes out, makes these remarks, has to resign, and now people are standing by her. People within the SNP are standing by her. Because, you know, the party of hate, it's clearly a racist party. We've known that for a long time. Um, you've got a leader who is anti-white, anti-Tory, anti-Jew, filled with loathing for just about everyone. And, of course, all the others are kissing ass and saying, oh, yes, we'll be racist too. We loathe ourselves. Funny, for a man who um, who hates white people as much as he does, he doesn't half like having them very close and intimately related with him. First wife was white, and the second wife is very, very pale of skin. And then there's Mary McCallum, the one he took to Dubai four months ago, and who is now four months pregnant. Government Ministers Gillian Martin and Mary McCallan, as well as Angus MP Dave Dugan, are among those scheduled to appear at an event hosted by Aberdeen Councillor Karen Van Sweden. Very much a Karen, but she's not from Sweden. SNP politicians have come under fire for agreeing to attend an event hosted by an Aberdeen Councillor booted out of the party in a racism storm. Now, normally she wouldn't have been uh, booted out. But it was simply the, the optics were there. They said, oh, we've got to do something. So they're going to kick her out and pretend that she, she doesn't support them anymore. She's still supporting them. She's still voting every single time um, aligned her votes with the SNP. Uh, I think the principle is if she just hangs on long enough, she'll be invited back in. And It was all a big misunderstanding. You know, that usual old line that they do. However, government ministers Gillian Martin and Mary McCallan, as well as Angus MP Dave Dugan, are among those listed to attend the Festival of Economics at the week uh, this weekend. And I'm pretty sure Hamza would love to be there to congratulate her on her hate of other people as well. Unfortunately, she's decided, that, or he's decided, that he won't. It would be quite um, bad optics, I think. Even he, even he has been advised not to. The event is being hosted by Scotonomics, a pro-independence group co-founded by Councillor Karen Van Sweden. So she's invented this group so that she can invite people and say, hey, look at me, I'm still relevant. Hey, voters of Aberdeen, look, don't forget about little old me. Yes, I am a racist. I am, you know, there. I am a member of the party that wants to utterly destroy the economics of Aberdeen, which relies heavily on the oil industry. But hey, still vote for me. Desperate? Yeah, of course she is. Uh, she resigned her SNP membership in October last year and referred herself to the Standards Commission after dismissively calling a Sri Lankan-born Labour councillor, Dina Tissera, a new Scot. Well, we all know that they're new Scots. Uh, during a heated debate, she said in reference to the member of Seton and Tillydrone, 
I realise as a new Scot, Councillor Tessera maybe doesn't know about the migrations, sorry, force of habit, mitigations to austerity that the SNP government have had to put in over the years. And then she lists some shit. But the fact is, she's talking about new Scots. But that's exactly the term that Hamza Yousaf said when he was welcoming people and calling them the new Scots. And so you do have it also, apart from the obvious blatant racism, you also have this hypocrisy. But of course, Hamza wants to fill Scotland with new Scots. The trouble is, for Dina, she's the wrong sort of new Scot. She, I believe, is Hindu. And that's not what Hamza wants to bring in, is it? Oh, most certainly not. He wants to bring in the Borg. You will be assimilated. Resistance is futile. Her comments made in October last year were criticised at the time by First Minister Hamza Yousaf, who himself, it must be said, has used the term. Uh, he said that they speak to the unconscious bias and discrimination that people hold. Well, if it's unconscious, how do you know? Very weird, isn't it? The Nationalist trio have been called on to do the right thing and step back from the event or risk aligning themselves with the shamed councillor. And of course, as I say, she's only shamed because, you know, she's picked uh, the wrong kind of target, really, isn't it? It's it's there. It was like, oh, I've got to go because it's bad. Had no one really picked up on it, it would have been quite acceptable. We know this. The, the SNP are the most racist people in the world. Uh, SNP, uh, sorry, we've got to carry on there. North East Region, uh, Scottish Conservative MSP Douglas Lumsden said there were shocking remarks which fell unacceptably short of the standard expected from a councillor. I, yeah. As far as I'm aware, the Standard Commission has yet to finish looking at the remarks and has not handed down a punishment. Who knows whether the SNP probe ever took place? If these ministers stare a, shade with, uh, stare a stage, shall I say, with Miss Van Sweden, considering the First Minister discussed at these comments, they're effectively condoning them. Yeah, but, you know, he, he's he's only having to say that because of the optics. He agrees with her, of course he does. He doesn't like Johnny Foreigner coming over here if they're not Muslim. And there she is, Mary McCullough, the Saturday girl, a girl over-promoted, given so much work. Her previous portfolio was so weak and so easy for her to do that she was handed uh, Neil Gray's old portfolio. portfolio. So it goes to show that both of them were doing part-time jobs if she's now doing a full-time job holding two portfolios. And they're getting paid a full wage for it, perhaps. Uh, they need to halve the wages of all these people if all, if all they can do is a half-day's job. Who knows? Although she does have other duties, as we know. Um, four months ago, as I say, in Dubai, she had her hands full. Uh, she, anyway, I'm not going to go on with it. It's, uh, it's happening on the 24th of March. Nobody cares. Nobody will turn up. Nobody of import. These people will turn up and go, nye, 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 talking shop, load of bollocks. And it's all there just to make sure that Karen Van Sweden remains front and centre in the eyes of the people of Aberdeen, who now, I suspect, will vote elsewhere. She won't keep her job. She won't have the party backing. And I think that um, her time is slowly coming to an end. With a bit of luck. Anyway... There we go. So we'll just leave that there. Not going to carry on. Finished. We'll come up and we'll round off the video. So what do we think? Will they turn up? Won't they turn up? Will they look at this and think, ah, do you know, it isn't going to look good. Although it is a really unimportant event. And it was designed solely to uh, to make sure that Sweden, Van Sweden, Von Sweden, the way the uh, way it's going, um, maintains her relevance. Eh, she's really not relevant at all, is she? Sad loser. SMP too. What do you expect? Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll finish there. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video, and I'll see you later. Bye.